Hey gang, today we're going to do uh, by request the Cars uh, Bye Bye Love, Elliot Easton's cool little solo at the end of that song from the Cars first album. Not the Everly Brothers, the Cars, all right? So it's a nice little solo, um, got a few quick bits in it, um, but we'll go over it note for note. Hey, as always, if you like this, uh, press the like button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for one of these every week. We'll see you in just a second. All right, gang, let's go over this note for note. First things first, you can download the tab from the link in the description. At least I think you can. I haven't done it yet. I probably will post it. We'll put it up there before posting. But here's a slight plea. Why don't you try it without the tab? There's only four lines here. And you know what? Learning it and memorizing it without the tab, good practice. I know tab's easier. I get it. That's why I post it. But yeah, you know, easier is not always better. All right, I will stop preaching and get off my soapbox, okay? Is what it is. <laughs> I'll post the tab. All right, second thing is the sound. Now, I'm playing a humbucker guitar out of the bridge pickup. Elliot Easton had kind of a heavily overdriven sound, a decently overdriven sound anyway. <coughs> and I've got my gain clocked at around 7. Slight amount of reverb on it. That's it. No other pedals, no nothing. All right, so there we go. That's that. Now, in terms of the chords and the structure, let me clean this up a little bit and go over it. Basically, the solo is over the following. Right? And basically, the way it goes is Elliot Eason is going to play a solo line over this. And then he's going to rest over the... Right? Okay, so that's how, that's how it goes. And basically those chords are E, B, and A. Right? And that little lick is just E, D, A, E. All right, um, so because we're playing over the E, B, and A, all those chords are in the key of E. And so lines that are going to be in, and plus this little D chord gives a bit of a bluesy flavor because there's a, there's a flatted fifth in there, that D, the E to D kind of gives you, a, I'm sorry, flatted fifth, flatted seventh in there is going to give you that flavor. Bluesy licks are going to be the norm, and so E minor pentatonic is going to be kind of the stuff that this falls out of. Also, you can think of it as playing in mixolydian, will work okay. In any event, these are going to be taken from uh, either, you know, an E major pentatonic or an E minor pentatonic, and you'll hear that flavor. All right, enough theory. Let's get, uh, let's get cracking. Okay, let's go over this line by line now. Here's the first line. This line really plays to the chord tones of E, B, and A uh, really well. So we're going to start out by this little slide from on third string from 2 to 4. And keep that going and then trail it off to the second fret like, or like this. Okay, now we're going to play this line. So that's a whole step bend on 4, third string 4, and then we skip a string play 2 on the 1st. And then a couple times, bend it up a couple times, and on our land on our root note on the second fret. It's on the third string. Okay, let me play the whole thing once again, and then we'll move on. All right. Here's the second line. Now this one's probably the hardest line to get down. There's a number of different ways you could play it. You could start it out here in the 10th position. I'm going to start it out in the 5th position on the 5th string. So this, uh, let me play the whole line slowly and then we'll break it down. Okay? <laughs> Okay, let's do the first part first. So the first part, we're starting out here in the fifth position on the seventh fret of the fifth string. Okay, 
There's a couple of warm-up notes. And now here we go. And now the slide from the 4th string 9th fret all the way up to the 14th fret. And that is on the 3rd string 12 and 13. Again, one more time, here it is slowly, the first part. After a little bit of hesitation, you play this. Alright, so that one is the standard, it's kind of like a standard rock lick, standard Chuck Berry. Now you'll notice that we're we've slid we've slid we slid <laughs> we slided we slid up to the 12th position, uh, and we're just playing that blues box. Okay, now we're in a blues box position, so we play a standard rock lick. Remember, we're playing E, so that's 12th fret E blues box, right? Okay, so the first part is the standard Chuck Berry, whole step on the 14th and 12th, 12, right on the. Now we're going to walk it down, 15-14, and keep walking on the third string, 15-14-12. And now this is the hard part is to give that little other dipsy doodle because it's a little bit faster, it's kind of crammed in. So this little hammer on and pull off on the third string, 12 to 14, okay? Here is the whole lick. It's simple when you break it down, but as you play it faster, if you try and play it, that's one you got to play it slowly. As you play it faster, uh, if you start out really fast, you're going to mess up the timing. So, so play it nice and slow, get it right, and, uh, and then just gradually build up the speed. All right, so that's the second line. Very cool line. Now, the third line is actually my favorite. Let's uh, see if we can pull it off here. <coughs> Not so easy. Okay. I forgot what it was. Damn. Okay, the third line is uh, my favorite, and it's not so easy uh, to pull off. So let me see if I can pull it off. Okay, definitely a bluesy number here. Now the hard part about this one is it has a two-step bend. We're going to start out on the 12th and bend up a whole step and come down. And now we're going to bring it up two. Two whole steps. So, so it's going to sound like this. That's not easy to do, so practice it. Make sure you can get it. Two-step bend. All right. Then we're going to bend a whole step and then play the 12th itself. All right, and then the ninth and the ninth. The ninth on the third, ninth on the fourth. Back to the twelfth and then the ninth. So that last part is like this. Very cool sounding, right? It's almost like a slide sounding. Okay, now this. I think actually on the album he doesn't cut it off like I just did. He plays it kind of ringing. Okay, let's do that one more time slowly. That bend is on the tenth. It's a whole step bend. Pull off to the eighth and then the ninth on the third string. All right, here's the whole thing again, just so you can get it. All right.
Okay, the last line. Actually, pretty simple. Here it is, we'll play it. <laughs> Okay, so the first one kind of sounds, and you can play it with your pinky or play it with your second and third fingers, doesn't really matter. What we're doing is we're playing on two strings, the, sec the third string and the second string, and we're just building a pattern and kind of moving it up until we get where we want. So we're starting out with this. Uh, on the third string, we're going to play ninth, hammer on to ten, and then on the second string, we'll play seven. Okay, now we'll move it all up one fret. Now we'll move it up another fret. Another. Another. And one more. So we're ending on with our first finger on that 12th uh, fret on the second string. So it sounds again like this. And it's totally okay if you bleed those notes. Um, it kind of sounds like a blur when you get it up to speed. There's a little bit of a blur. Okay? And now I like to play, you can either play this or play this. For some reason, I have a predilection for playing this on the second string, so I'll play 17. And then I play this lick. Uh, on the second string, 15, 12. And then... Um, that's just a, a quick pull off 15, 14, 12 to the 14th on the 4th and then ending on the 12th on the 3rd. One more time now, the whole thing. And that is it. All right, gang, well, there you have it. Bye Bye Love by The Cars, at least Elliot Easton's solo at the end of that. Um, it's not too bad, right? Uh, it's got a few tricky bits but uh, and a few fast bits, but uh, play them nice and slow and get them up to speed and you'll get it. All right, Till next time, we'll see you on Down the Road.